Normally I do some sort of setup here, but let me just start by showing you how the Elite use the Nitro Express. Then we can do the whole informational thing. So just bear with me 30 seconds. <laughs> we could just leave. Yeah. At least it might recuperate yeah. some, uh, at least part of the cost for this load up. Oh, real. So we won't feel as bad for losing it. We're not losing it. No chance. Yeah, you're right. It's a nitro. <laughs> uh, that's not clear. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah. They are extra damage. Uh, One's in the tower. One's... One has a nitro. I was talking about him. This gun gets requested pretty often, so I figured it was time. Hunt wallet be damned. The Nitro Express is excellent on paper, and we will talk about why that can be a bit deceiving later in the video. The largest selling point is that the Nitro Express does 364 damage to the chest within 10 meters, which makes sense when you consider how large the bullet is. And I actually did some digging and found real footage of the damage a Nitro Express can cause. I mean, crap, man. Look at that. But like, yeah, okay, totally. Go ahead and revive that guy that's missing a stomach plug. As a result of this insanely high damage, the Nitro Express can be a one-hit kill to the torso out to 43 meters. And it's worth noting the damage modifier for Nitro bullets is the same for upper and lower torso hits. So like corporal punishment, stomach and sternum shots do the same damage, though maybe not as psychologically traumatizing for the Nitro rounds. The Nitro Express also boasts an impressive 250 meter effective headshot range and a 550 meter per second muzzle velocity, which, don't get ahead of me when I say this, makes it ideal for sniping if you can land the headshot. And I wish I had an impressive Nitro sniping clip, but it's hard. Oh wait, I do have one. What's the other Donnie doing? Oh, they're heading for Bolden. Hit him. Uh, might have killed him. Yeah, they're dead. Oh my god, dude. If all of those things weren't enough, the Nitro can kill most bosses in four shots, and it can penetrate basically any object in the bayou and retain some damage, including trees and brick walls. If the story ended there, this gun would be incredible. But oh buddy, this thing has more cons than the Uin Dynasty. Firstly, the Nitro Express costs a measly $1,015? Scalpers, goddamn. Its high cost means that, like film buffs watching through Christian Bale's filmography, the people using it are likely about to prestige. Hunt is a game of risk versus reward, and the high cost of the Nitro greatly throws off that risk calculation. Unless you are sitting on piles of cash like my buddy here, who is quite the swamp philanthropist. No, we're gonna have to. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna. Wait, hold on. Let, let, let me talk over. Are you okay if I if okay. I give him my nitro and stuff? Somebody about to kill him. Uh, I know it's, it's really risky. It's really risky. I know. You can be far away when it happens. All right. Another factor is that the damage drop off for the nitro is pretty extreme. As mentioned, it can be a one-hit kill at 43 meters, but a lot of compound fights happen within this 40 to 50 meter range, and that sharp difference between a clean kill and a frustrating hit marker has earned the Nitro the reputation of being extremely inconsistent, like my sleep schedule when I have to make a video. At least you guys have subscribed. Right guys? You subbed? Compounding this inconsistent damage issue, unless you are hip firing the gun, you have to use the aperture sights ripped off the worst apartment door the manufacturers could find. Seriously, you can almost see the warped face of your door dasher. But this means up close, when you really want to lean on the high damage, you'll likely need to quick scope like your back and clan tryouts on rust. At range, look for your target outside the sight, then aim to line up your shot and up close, a hip fire can work just fine. Perhaps the biggest weakness of the Nitro, you can only fit six of these big ass bullets in your pockets, 
4 if you are using explosive ammo, which we'll talk about in a second. So although the Nitro can't benefit from any traits specifically, I would say it is one of the few guns in the game that can benefit from ammo boxes directly. Unless you are John Wicking teams, you are going to need to get more ammo before the match is over, and because the Nitro is special ammo, your only options are the infrequent special boxes. It's like a romantic Valentine's evening. You only have a limited number of shots, so you're gonna need to pace yourself or bring supplements. Which brings us to today's sponsor. I'm just kidding. But there are a myriad of other small things, like the fact that it can be heard from 1,000 meters away, it causes more audio distortion in your ears after each shot, so hearing the death sound can be difficult. And the nitro being so strong in close quarters means it is privy to kill trades more often. You, you have full right. Ah! Kill, kill trade. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no way. So quickly, let's talk about custom ammo. The Nitro Express has two special ammo types, Dum Dum and Explosive. The Dum Dum ammo does not have public data for it, but one of the official Hunt Discord contributors, Ulrich, tested the Dum Dum ammo and found it increased the one hit kill range to 74 meters. That is a huge increase and well worth the reduction in penetration and the extra $150. The explosive ammo does 189 damage to the chest within 10 meters, which means the explosive ammo won't be a consistent one hit kill anywhere past 15 to 20 meters. Can you still get kills with it? Yeah, headshots work just fine. I have a lot of problems with it. He's dead. I just, <laughs> I just blew that man's head off. And the splash damage is enough to kill newly revived hunters. Oh, he's still there. He's dead again. But in most fights, you'd be better served just taking dumb dumb ammo. Which leads us to the Nitro's ideal build. The Nitro is a gun for a big game hunter, and sorry to tell you this, safaris aren't cheap. So after you shell out the initial 1,015 hunt bucks, go ahead and add the additional $150 dumb dumb ammo and the $65 ammo box. Next, you'll probably want a sidearm you can rely on, so the officer or the Spitfire, if you are dropping this money as a meme, or the Dolch if you are really a Bayou Bezos. That should bring your grand total to around $1,400 on the low side, depending what tools you bring. And at this point, you might be thinking, none of this sounds too bad. There's loud noises, there's holes in every wall, it's just another day going to work with mom. But in reality, there's nothing practical about taking the Nitro. It's a great meme gun, and the right hands is absolutely lethal, with a high cost, limited ammo, horrible sight, and inconsistent damage at medium ranges prevents me from recommending it as a daily driver. It's like reading Infinite Jest. You can do it for the enjoyment of it, but no one thinks you're cool for talking about it. But it's a good book. No, it is a good book, though. I will say, I will say, just do me a favor after this, um, check out, check out my boy Home Reel here on YouTube, okay? Here. I'm rubbing it. That. Just check it out. He does some great, great quality stuff, alright? Take it easy, brother. You too, boss.